Hi guys, come, I have a story for you. I'm Auntie Mila. The name of the story is The Singing Thief. A singing thief? Yes, that's the name of our story. But first, you know in Psalm 147 verse 1, it says, It is good to sing praises to the Lord. You know, I love to sing. Do you like to sing? Especially praises to the Lord. Because he's so good. He does so many things for us. Well, this story happened uh, a long time ago in the country of India. There was a little boy by the name Raja. And he lived right next to a big farm. And Mr. Tomaso owned the farm and he hired boys to work in his fields and around do, doing chores. But Mr. Tomaso was a Christian and every evening he gathered all of his boys together and they would sing. They would sing and sing and sing and sing. And then he would tell them a story, have a little worship with them, and then they would all go to bed because a lot of boys stayed right there on his farm. Well, Raja and his family lived right next to this farm. And in the evening, he would hear the boys singing. And he'd go over and he'd sit and quietly by the fence and listen to them sing and singing. He thought, oh, those are such nice songs. I wonder where they got those songs from. He would listen and listen. Or he'd go up on a hill behind him, he would look over. But he noticed that the boys were singing and singing and they were singing out of a book. And they would open the book and someone would say, number 51. And so everyone would turn to it and they would sing, all things bright and beautiful. And then after that one say, I want to sing 75. So I'll turn to 75. And they would sing, what a friend we have in Jesus. And they would sing with all their hearts. And, he, and so Raja would learn some of their songs just by sitting and listening. But Raja was thinking, he says, I want one of those books. I wonder how I could get one. And he thought and thought and thought, and then he came up with a plan. He said, you know, in the afternoon, all the boys are in the fields working, working around the farm. He said, I'm going to sneak over, climb over the fence, and I'm going to go get a book for myself. Not a good idea. But Raja, Besides that was what he was going to do. So he went in the afternoon, the farm was real quiet, everyone was out in the fields working. He went over and climbed over the fence. And he went over to the big room where Mr. Mosso always had the boys singing. He walked in, looked around, and there was a whole stack of these song books. A whole stack. And he went over and he took one. And then he walked out real quickly, climbed back over the fence, and uh, oh, good, I have a songbook. But he didn't feel real good about doing that. So that evening, he climbed up on the hill and he heard the boys starting to sing. And they said, number 15. And then he had the words and he could sing along with the boys. And then they said, number 29. Oh, 29, he'd go to 29. And then he would sing along and he learned the words that way. Oh, I'm so glad I have a book. Well, the story goes on. One afternoon, uh, Roger ran into one of the boys, one of the Mr. Mosso's boys. And they said, oh, Roger, um, Mr. Mosso is going to be holding some meetings here on his farm. And a special speaker from the big city is coming. And they're starting Sunday night. I think you'd like him. You should come. And Roger said, will there be singing? Oh, yes, we'll be singing and there'll be stories and and they're going to be really good meetings and go every night starting at seven o'clock and roger said oh i would like to come to the meetings and he said be sure and come he says i will and so sunday night roger got clean he got his chores done and he got all clean and combed his hair and he started off and he thought well i'm not going to take my songbook because they'll know i have one so i'll leave that at home and he went and he sat down and they welcomed him and they had pulled up more chairs and more people from the town and the villages around would come and they would all sit there and they would sing and he thought, oh, I love singing. 
and then some they would pray and then they would um, have a sermon and he loved the meetings and he went every night faithfully but you know after about the third or fourth night he remembered the book that he had stolen and he didn't feel good about it and the minister preached on the law of God and how we need to keep the law of God and one of the commandments is thou shalt not steal the ooh and it's pricking his heart he thought I better do something about it so I but I don't know what to do I'm just in trouble have you ever been in trouble and been naughty and then didn't know what to do well I have to admit I have and so after the meeting, he waited in the seat, and everyone walked out, walked out, waited till everyone was gone. And he walked up to the minister, and he said, Pastor, I have a problem. And the pastor said, oh, what is it? He said, I climbed over the fence, and I stole one of these song books here that belongs to Mr. Masso. I stole it, and I've been singing out of it at night when the boys have their worship. He said, then I can turn to the pages, and I can sing. And the pastor said, really? He says, yeah, he says, I feel, feel really bad about him. I don't know what to do. And the pastor said, well, I have a really good idea. Let's ask Jesus to forgive you. And he said, Jesus? He says, yes. And he says, come, let's kneel down. And the pastor knelt down with him and he said, dear Jesus, this is Raja. And he stole a songbook, and he feels really bad about it, and he is sorry. Will you forgive him? You will? Thank you. Amen. And you know what? When Raja got up, he felt so good in his heart. He said, I don't feel bad anymore. I feel good. And the pastor said, now, tomorrow night, you bring that songbook that you stole, and I will go with you to Mr. Masso, and we'll explain. Will he get angry? Will he lock me up in jail? What will he do? He said, no, no, no. Mr. Masso is a Christian. I think you'll be happy with the results. Be sure to bring that book tomorrow night. Roger said, I will. And so he was true to his word. Next uh, night when he started off to the meetings, he said, oh, I have to take that book. So he took the songbook and he sat in the meeting and he sang. He enjoyed the meeting. Afterwards, he went up to the pastor, and the pastor had a big smile. He says, Roger, I'm so glad you came. He said, I see you brought the book. Is that the book? He said, yes, this is the book. He says, come, let's go find Mr. Masso. And they walked through the crowd, and they were looking, looking, and found Mr. Masso. And the pastor said, Mr. Masso, he said, um, this is Raja. He lives next door to your farm. And Mr. Masso said, nice to meet you. And he said, Roger has something to tell you. And Roger looked down and he said, Sir, he said, I'm very sorry, but I love to hear your boys singing in the evening. And so one night, one afternoon actually, when all the boys were in the fields, I climbed over the fence and I stole this book. And he said, I'm very sorry. And then the pastor spoke up and said, um, Mr. Masso, Raja has been coming to the meetings and he really likes the meetings and this has been a very big problem for him. And so last night we asked Jesus to forgive him and Jesus forgave him. He washed up right away. It's not in his book anymore. And now we're asking you to forgive Raja. And Raja was looking down and going, oh boy, uh, here, come, here it comes. He's going to get angry. Maybe he'll beat me. He looked down. And after a long silence, he looked up. Mr. Masso was standing with a smile on his face. He said, Roger, that is very nice of you. Very kind and the honest thing to do. And Jesus is happy. He said, and I'm happy. You are? That I stole your book? He said, no, I'm happy that you confessed your sin. And then he said, is this the book? He says, yes. And he gave the book back to Mr. Masso. And Mr. Masso took the book. He said, thank you very much. He said, yes, this is my book. The boys like singing out of it. Started to turn and walk away. He said, wait, he said, I have a gift for you. And he said, you do? After stealing your book, you have a gift for me? He said, yes, here is a gift. This is my book and I'm giving it to you. Raja said, really? It's my book? 
And Mr. Masu said, yes, it's a gift from me to you. And he said, oh, thank you so much. And he said, Mr. Masu said, by the way, after the meetings are over, in the evening, if you would like to join the boys for worship every evening, come on over. We'd love to have you and bring your book. And he said, I will. And then he said one more thing. He says, when you get home, be sure and put your name in the book and say it's a gift from Mr. Masso. He says, I will. Thank you, Mr. Masso. Thank you so much. And I'm telling you, he started singing songs as he walked home. He wasn't a singing thief anymore. He was a singing saint. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Our God is so good. You can't believe it. We do bad things and he forgives us and we have a pure heart and then we're not a thief anymore. We're not a liar anymore. We're not a cheat anymore. How good is that? Roger was so happy. I want to have a prayer. Dearest Jesus, thank you so much for forgiving Roger. Lord, thank you for forgiving me. And Lord, forgive all the boys and girls that are watching. Help us to have pure hearts. Thank you so much, Jesus. We love you. For Jesus' sake, amen. Thank you. Didn't you like that story? I did. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye, Auntie Mother.